Yo, what's going on, friends? Here we are back at it again, midway through the week for another edition of Best NBA Bets. I'm Dave Lochran from Odd Shopper, running it back with you once again. Off to a good start this week. I don't want to jinx it, right? Usually that's what happens. Uh, you get too confident, things go south, but that's okay. We're just going to keep doing exactly what we've been doing. Yesterday, well, you got to admit when you get a little lucky sometimes, right? But we got there no matter what. I'd say we kind of got unlucky with Carl Anthony Towns, even though we still hit the over on the rebound. So it balances itself out. Got in a ton of foul trouble. Only played like 25 minutes or whatever it was, and they got blown out. But then Chris Paul, yeah, we benefited from that Devin Booker injury. Uh, he still got there. Uh, and we got there with Tyus Jones as well. John Morant left for a second, came back. But Tyus Jones over points and assists. So we'll take that 3-0, and and we'll take Monday's uh, winning record into Wednesday and try and figure something out here. Uh, I will say, though, quickly, I don't love anything today. I don't. There's nothing that jumps off the page at me that I really love. Earlier in the week, we definitely had some of that. I think a lot of you agreed that, you know, we were all kind of consensus in consensus with a lot of those. But uh, nothing I love today. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment down below. I always try to read and respond to all of them. But yeah, hitting that thumbs up and subscribing if you like this content and you want to help support us. It really does go a long way. All right, let's dive into this. Once again, Tyrese Maxey over two and a half three-pointers at plus money, plus 130 to be exact, over at BetMGM. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to keep hitting this, but I'm also going to tell you that if you haven't taken advantage of the free $190 you get on Bet, I told you I was going to tell you this again today because it's crazy not to take advantage of it. $390 over at BetMGM, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below, sign up, deposit $10 or however much you want, and bet a team to score 22 or more points. It's going to happen. It is, it's, it's a lock. It's a lock unless uh, an apocalyptic storm wipes everything out. And then in that case, we're not worried about it anyway. Bet at any team tonight to win or whenever you want, but say tonight to score 22 plus points and that 10 turns into $200 and is injected straight into your account. Just use the link below. And as I've said a million times, these sites want you over there. They're vying for your business. And in order to do that, they're giving away free money. And if you found the $190 on the street, you'd certainly pick it up. So why not do it here? Just use that link deposit to bet $10 on any team to score 22 plus and turn that into 200 right out of the gate. And uh, use it on some of the bets that we talk about on these shows, like Tyrese Maxey, over two and a half three-pointers. Look, I, I know that, that that it's going to be tough for him to hit that every day, but I'm going to keep rolling with it if we're going to get plus 130 odds over at BetMGM uh, and wherever else you may look. But we basically, you're looking at the three-point overs. We talked about it the other day. It's so important to look at how many open threes they're getting. Right, He's made eight threes over his first two games in this series, and now he's gone for three or more threes in eight of his last 15 games as well, going back to the regular season. Plus, he's played 38 and 41 minutes in both of these postseason games with a 24% usage rate, which is essentially identical to James Harden. And we said this last time, but Maxie's getting so many open looks from beyond the arc that even though we can't make the shots for him, we're very happy with just saying, all right, you know what? If he takes six tonight, we're going to hope that he hits three of them because they're wide open and he has the third best three-point percentage in the entire league in the regular season among all players attempting at least three per game. And check this out. Of the 14 threes that he's attempted against the Raptors in this series, nine have been wide open, according to NBA.com stats. Wide open, no defender within six feet. And the other five have been open, defender within four to six feet. So it's just really encouraging, and I'm going to keep rolling with, with Maxi at plus money at plus 130 un, until I'm not. And then Danny Green in this same game, over one and a half steals plus blocks. Now, this is at minus 180, uh, so I, I look at it more of a parlay piece, but I think there's a couple different ways to attack it. First off, he's already averaging 1.6 steals plus blocks on the season, and that's across only 22 minutes per game. He played 38 minutes in game two of this series, and... The big thing for me here is that Matisse Dybul's already been ruled out because he's not eligible to play in Toronto. Now, I'm not saying Green plays 38 minutes, but I think it's very reasonable to project him for around 30 minutes tonight, a guy that's already averaging over one and a half steals and blocks in 22 minutes per game, had a great game two, 
I think assuming that he doesn't come out and just brick up every single shot like we saw in game one, his defense and just his overall ability to play in the postseason should continue to get him run and Matisse Dibbles out. And George Nang has just been a huge defensive liability. We know that Toronto has looked to attack him time and time again uh, when he's out there. So that could mean that you just continue to get more green minutes with Dybul off. And here's the thing. I'll bet this straight tonight. If we see it move to two and a half steals plus blocks, it'll move to plus money. And I think on some books, we're going to see that. So I'm recording this early. I got some other stuff going on today, but pay attention to that. So like, if you want to add it to a parlay or you just want to eye it throughout the day, or, or maybe on your book, it's already at two and a half steals and blocks. I think it's very doable that he gets the three here. Uh, and plays 30 plus minutes, maybe even close to what he played last game, uh, that 38, which would be fantastic for this bet. And then here we go. Al Horford over 26 and a half points, rebounds and assists at minus 120 on DraftKings. Horford played 41 minutes in game one against the net. And I'm expecting, honestly, similar playing time today. I'm not saying you project him for 41, um, but the Celtics haven't played since Sunday, so he might be getting up there in age, but big minutes are on the horizon once again for Horford, and he popped off for 20 points, 15 rebounds, two assists. He's still a fantastic defender. He can still contribute in a variety of ways, and that's why I like points, rebounds, and assists, because despite his age, he can still give you a lot in all three of these categories, but you never know which one it's going to be from game to game. Like last game, he had 35 points plus rebounds, but only two assists. Today, it could be different. And with Robert Williams, this is a huge one. With Robert Williams off the floor this season, Horford has a 16% usage rate, 18% assist rate, and 16% rebound rate. So again, nothing crazy on any of them, but all of them pretty solid for a guy that's definitely going to play 35 plus minutes, might play 40 plus minutes as we saw last game. And 18 games that he's played without uh, Williams on the floor. So those rates are with Horford off the floor, or I'm sorry, Williams off the floor. These are th This is what he's averaged in the games where Robert Williams hasn't played at all. 11.3 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 4 assists. That's good for 23.5 points, rebounds, and assists, but it's across only 30 minutes per game. So prorate that to what we expect him to get today. This is more than doable against uh, a Brooklyn team that plays at an elevated pace and defensively is not very good, uh, particularly in the interior. So uh, considering Ime Yudoka ran a really condensed eight-man rotation last game. Only eight players, that's it. Daniel Tice played all the backup center minutes too, but he also started. I don't see, if, if that's the case, I don't see why you wouldn't watch Horford or see Horford get uh, really big minutes again, and that's all we can ask for today. So like I said, there's not a ton I'm in love with, so I'll keep this brief or at least shorter than I usually do, but these are the ones that stand out to me. Especially, look, if we're getting Maxi at plus 130, uh, I think we just continue to to, to ride, the, ride the wave there as he continues to get open look after open look over two and a half threes over at BetMGM. Use that link. Get the free 190 bucks. Turn 10 into 200 just by taking any team tonight to score 22 plus points. Danny Green over one and a half steals plus box. More of a parlay piece. It's pretty juiced to the over. But if it moves to two and a half, I like that a lot. Bet it straight. And then Al Horford over 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists at minus 120 on DraftKings. I'll definitely throw some stuff in chat today or in the comment section and pin it or put it on Twitter at Lafay underscore D, L-O-U-G-H-Y underscore D if anything pops up throughout the day because I'm always trying to give you guys uh, the best that I can find and I never want to shortchange it, even though this content's free. All right, have a good one tonight, guys. Let's keep it rolling. We'll catch you back here tomorrow on the Best Bets in the NBA. Peace.